All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be checking out the contents of Global's latest data download for January 31st, 2023. Now real quick, before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all the contents. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the new promo movie for the next Dokkan Festival exclusive unit uh, for Global, which is the Fizz Kid Goku. So here we go. Let me just pause my music and enjoy, guys. Yeah, and there you have it. Uh, Fizz Kid Goku arrives, Global's next Dokkan Festival unit, along with the uh, AGL Hachan, or Aider. And uh, yeah, I did make a pass or pull video about this release. Uh, I think it was like a week ago. Um, that was my mistake, because I thought that at the time, the Kid Goku banner was only, you know, a few days away, right? But it turns out that I was... A little premature but nonetheless i'll put a link to that video somewhere over my head for those of you that want to know exactly what the kid goku and the eight are do what their banner looks like uh their animations like the full animations and all that stuff okay so link above my head for that pass or pull video and from there we have the assets for the kid goku there is the ssr and there is the tur and then we have the eight as well SSR and TUR Arts and after that we have a free-to-play STR Yamcha or Yamcha and Poor actually but I think it's just called Yamcha in the uh, card name right so there is the SSR and TUR for that Yamcha and we also have a new Int Staff Officer Black which is a boss unit or boss card unfortunately not summonable or obtainable at this moment in time although i would not mind at some point if we got like a you know free to play version or maybe even a summonable version you know like a side unit um, on some banner in the future we'll see but that is the uh boss staff officer black <laughs> and then after that we have uh the extreme z awakening medal for the lr metal cooler army uh you will be able to buy those in the uh, ultimate clash or battlefield shop and if i remember correctly in order to get all the extreme z awakening medals you need to fully easy a um, metal cooler uh, i believe it costs a lot of memory man i think it's like 600k or something like that i could be wrong i could be wrong but that's what i saw so correct me if i'm you know mistaken in the comments but i read somewhere it costs like a stupid amount of uh, battlefield memory to get all the extreme z awakening medals which i personally will be able to but i know that some newer players uh will struggle with that for a while right but nonetheless we got the extreme z awakening it's dropping uh on the first uh around the same time i think as everything else here uh 6 30 6 30 yeah 6 30 gmt so uh the release date for all this stuff for the new celebration is gonna be february 2nd at 6 30 a.m gmt which is, I believe, 1.30 a.m. Eastern Time, okay? So yeah, we have the Extreme Z Awakening for Metal Cooler, and uh, I will go over their details a little bit later in the video too, so stay tuned for that. And we have a uh, new growth event, Stay Alive, Fight for Survival. That's the stage right there. We also have uh, a new story event, The Path to Power, which obviously is where the uh, Kid Goku and the Aider are from. Uh, the movie that is so we got some new stages for that story event there you go and also a final stage right there and there is the awakening medal for the yamcha and puar so this is the event where we get the um free to play yamcha and the uh 
bonus drop category or category bonus drop is DB Saga, as you would expect. And after that, we have a new Dokkan event, which obviously is for the Kid Goku. There is his Dokkan Awakening medal. We have a new Extreme Super Battle stage, stage 38, youth only. And uh, also some missions for the next Battlefield or Ultimate Clash, which is Battlefield 51. Um, oh, actually, it's apparently 52 for global because of the uh, worldwide celebration Battlefield. So yeah, uh, technically Battlefield number 52 for global. And uh, that means another uh, Broly boss, which um, is going to be tough. It's going to be tough because that guy is not playing around, man. Like, I thought, you know, Omega Shenron was kind of tough, but <laughs> compared to Broly, that guy was a joke, man. So uh, good luck with Broly this time around. Um, I kind of like the challenge, but I also don't like having to rerun, um, you know, each battlefield multiple times just to like clear the final stage but nonetheless it is what it is so new battlefield number 52 for global and uh we got the dokkan festival ticket for the goku banner of course we have a new uh trade jewel heart-shaped chocolate 2023 which of course is for the uh valentine's day celebration that which should be starting in like a week or so so yeah, we got the heart-shaped chocolate. Um, it doesn't say when it's going to be available, but once again, I assume it's going to be closer to Valentine's Day, which is the 14th, right? So uh, sometime around like the, the 7th to the 10th or something like that, we will be able to get these. And uh, you just get them from like logins, from missions, and then they can be exchanged for uh, some, you know, random stuff in the Baba Shop, I believe. Usually it's like a few of the like waifu units or like peppy girls units and then also um some like maybe elder kai's yeah i think elder kai's some support items some training items stuff like that so yeah basically just a nice little like bonus for valentine's day so there you go and it looks like that's pretty much it yeah that was the full data download guys that is um at least you know those are the most important things we got from this data download and like I said, we are going to quickly go through the Metal Cooler Extreme Z Awakening details before we get out of here. So before the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill is Extreme Class, get plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense, plus 100, or sorry, uh, plus 70%, plus 70%, not 100, 70% across the board for Extreme Class. And then 12 key is Colossal Damage and greatly lowers defense, 18 key Mega Colossal Damage and raises Extreme Class Allies attack by 30% for one turn and passive is attack and defense plus uh or sorry raises attack and defense by up to 90% the more hp remaining the greater the stats boost high chance to stun high chance to launch up to two additional attacks each of which has a chance to become a super attack so you get these two additional attacks but they each only have a 10% chance to become a super attack. So essentially it wasn't that likely you were going to be launching multiple supers because first of all, there's a 50% chance for each of these attacks, right? To even activate. And then on top of that, it's only a 10% chance for each of these additional attacks to become super attacks. Um, so in theory, he could launch like four supers, but it was very, very rare. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, new leader skill is Extreme Class Key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 120%. 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn, it causes colossal damage and greatly lowers defense. And 18 key super raises defense for one turn, it causes mega colossal damage and raises extreme class allies attack by 30% for two turns. And passive is recovers 8% HP and attack and defense plus 100% at the start of turn, raises attack and defense by up to 100%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost. And then artificial life forms category allies key plus three, and defense plus 30% high chance of launching up to two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. So even though it's still a high chance for these additional attacks to launch, it's now a medium chance, which is 30% chance of uh, the additional attacks becoming super attacks as opposed to only a 10% chance before, right? So much more likely now. And uh, of course, you know, just bigger boosts, uh, more attack and defense boosts at least, on top of the 
um, you know, additional attacks. We got some support here. We got some healing as well at the start of turn, which is always nice. And uh, yeah, that's basically the Extreme Z Awakening, guys. Overall, a very solid Extreme Z Awakening. He is um, quite good. I feel like his defense is still going to be kind of lacking, honestly. Um, I mean, after a couple of supers, if you are able to like get two, three, maybe even four supers off, then you're building a lot of defense there with the uh, additional super attacks, right? At least for that turn. So that could definitely help. But um, yeah, overall, just a good Extreme Z Awakening, nothing too crazy. And uh, as I said, it's going to cost a lot of uh, memories, right? The Battlefield memories to get all the Extreme Z Awakening medals. So it might not be something that, you know, a lot of players will even be able to do for a while. So anyways, that is the easy yay. And that is the video, guys. That was Global's latest data download for January 31st, 2023. Uh, once again, thank you uh, and shout out to Proton10MG for the assets and uh, make sure to go check out that pass or pull video I, mo I made a few days ago or I guess a week ago for the uh, Kid Goku so you guys know exactly what he looks like, what he does, and whether his banner is going to be any good, right? So that's it guys, that's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.